It started with the drawings. The drawings were the first thing. And um, I've always been an artist, so that's a language I fall back on. So when I was starting to make sense in my own head of what was going on with me when I was trying to sort of clarify and sort it out, drawing about it really was the best way for me to, to get the thoughts and the feelings out and give them shape and bring them into the light. Because to me, the things that are the scariest are the things in the dark, the things we don't talk about, the things we're trying not to look at. And so by putting them in the light, giving them form, it was almost like taking some power back for myself. I, I get into this sort of flow where I'm not necessarily ruminating, I'm not thinking about the hard things, I'm thinking about how to make a mark and how to make a shape and am I happy with the composition. And so it, even if I'm drawing about cancer, it sort of takes me out of the experience of dwelling on the fact that I have cancer. It was important to me to include my love story with my husband because, well, because I love him very, very much, but because I think it really also shows what's being lost. You know, we had this, when we got married, gosh, 14 years ago, there was this promise of forever. And to me, forever meant, you know, having kids and getting old and helping each other down the street with our walkers and shaking our sticks at the kids on our lawn and, you know, all the things of being old together. Um, and even though we still have forever, our love story is going to be likely cut a little short because of this disease. And I thought that without that story, we don't, we don't have as much of an idea of what's being lost.